Hi everyone, I'm Miss Morgan, and in this video I'm going to introduce you to the plant and snails gizmo that you're going to use for your Unit 5 Cellular Respiration and Photosynthesis Virtual Lab. Once you've launched the gizmo, you'll be taken to a screen that looks like the one you see now. In the center of the screen, there are four test tubes labeled A through D. These are your experimental test tubes, and this is where you'll put all of the variables together to run your experiments. There are a lot of different variables in this gizmo that you can adjust. The first variable that you can adjust is light. You can choose to run your experiments in the light by clicking the switch to on, or you can click the switch in the top center of the screen to off and run your experiments in the dark. You can also adjust whether snails and a plant called Elodea are in the test tubes, and you can adjust how many snails and how much Elodea is in each tube. To add these objects to the tubes, click on the object, drag them to the tube you want to add them to, and let go. If you decide that you don't want objects in the tube once you've added them, click on the object again to remove it from the tube. When you're ready to run your experiment, click on the play button at the bottom of the screen. You can choose to pause your experiment at any time to review what's happening and to collect data. When your experiment has finished running, you'll be able to click the reset button, at which point you'll have the option to change your experimental setup and rerun the experiment. To collect data, you'll need to know how much oxygen and how much CO2 is being produced in each tube. The oxygen and carbon dioxide is measured in parts per million, which is abbreviated as PPM. To view this data, you'll click on the checkbox in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, and a little marker will show up for each test tube, giving you the amount of oxygen and CO2 in that test tube. Now, at some points during your lab, you'll be asked to take a screenshot and add that to your lab document. To screenshot your gizmo, click on the camera in the top right corner. Once the screenshot has processed, you can download the screenshot to your computer by right-clicking and choosing Save Image As, then selecting the file on your computer where you would like to save it. If you'd rather just copy and paste the image directly into your lab, you can do that by copying the image, going to your lab document, and pasting it in there. When you're done with the screenshot, click on the X in the top right corner to close that screenshot. So at this point, you have all of the information to begin the lab. Some things to think about as you set up your lab are, do you need a control? If you decide to use a control, why are you using the control and how are you going to set up the control? Another question to think about as you set up your lab is how many sprigs of Elodea and how many snails do you need in each tube? As you run the experiment, be thinking about what process or processes does the Elodea sprig represent and what process or processes do the snails represent? All right, so those are all the things that you need to be ready to run this lab. If you have any questions at all, please ask your teacher and happy labbing.